this video pulled over 5 million views on both Instagram and Facebook. And the number one question I keep getting is, how did you do it? No camera crew, no 3D software, just AI. And if you are seeing this for the first time, my name is Ola MAF, and almost half a million people on the internet think I'm useful. So I'm here to help you level up your creativity, your visual, and your whole creator journey. So let's get into it. So in this video, I'm breaking down 3D motion effects, how I plan them, the prompts I use, and by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to make these shots yourself. For this tutorial, I'll be using Freepik because it has all the AI models that we need. So the first shot I worked on is the reading scene in a tropical environment. So for this, I plan to change my environment while I'm still reading. I started with a screenshot from one of my videos, Mid Motion, just so I had a base image to work with. Log into freepik.com and click on image generator. Select Google, then Google Nano Banana. I uploaded my image and added this prompt. Place me and the chair in a tropical forest. And in a few minutes, I got this clean image like I was actually sitting in a tropical forest. That is just the background part. And now we need to work on bringing this image to life. To bring this image to life, click on the video generator and select clean 2.5 as your model. Upload a generated image, the one where you are sitting in the tropical forest, then describe the camera movement. Slow cinematic zoom in or mirror reading the book. Click on generate and you have your results where you can see the camera slowly pushing in on you while you are reading. So when working with motion in AI, one of the most important thing is the camera movement. Instead of putting it there for AI to decide the kind of camera movement, you can specify what you want. And when you describe the camera movement, it gives you more realistic results. So for the second part, this one looks like a drone shot through the handle of the cup. I have seen drone shots going through tiny places and I feel like I can replicate something like this using AI. So then I took a mid-motion screenshot, just my hand typing on the keyboard. I went straight to the video generator this time, select the clean AI model and use this exact prompt. A cinematic drone camera flies through the cup handle, revealing my hand typing. Once again, the first thing you want to do is expand the camera movement, then what you are doing. And in a few minutes, I got this result. You can click on generate multiple times to have the desired result that you want. And you can see the output literally looking like there's a drone passing through the handle of the cup and showing my hand typing. Now for the last part, which is more interesting and is kind of different because now it involves two frames, the beginning frame and the end frame. The idea was to have a drone shot that flies into a building window and transition into me talking on the phone inside the building. For this, I need two frames. The first frame outside the building and the second frame me talking on the phone. So I used a screenshot mid motion of one of the videos I have. So from the outside of the building, I have some kind of warm light. So for the inside, I try to replicate the same thing. Once I add both frames, I click on Clean AI 2.5, which now support the start and end frame. Okay, my prompt was drone camera movement, flies towards the building, through the lit window, and transitions smoothly to a close-up of me on the phone. And the result looks something like this. All the prompts I use will be dropped in the caption. One of the major things that you should pay attention to when using the two frames is make sure the two frames kind of blend so that when you transition from one into the second, there will be that flow and it makes it more realistic and people can hardly tell, oh, this is AI or if you learn something from this, click a like or drop the subscribe button. You don't have to complicate things. You just have to make it simple. All this are from a screenshot, then you manipulate the environment into something that you like, then you animate it. Your imagination is the only limit. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.